Seventh grade illustrative math, unit two, lesson 10. Introducing graphs of proportional relationships. Glossary term, origin. The origin is the point zero, zero in the coordinate plane. This is where the horizontal axis and the vertical axis cross. Number one, which graphs could represent a proportional relationship? Explain how you decided. Graphs A and C. These two graphs are of proportional relationships. They both are part of a straight line that passes through the origin. B is a curved line passing through the origin. D is a straight line, but it passes through the Y axis above the origin. Number two, a lemonade recipe calls for one fourth cup of lemon juice for every cup of water. A, use the table to answer these questions. What does X represent? X represents the number of cups of water. What does Y represent? Y represents the number of cups of lemon juice. Is there a proportional relationship between X and Y? Yes, there is a proportional relationship between X and Y. B. Plot the pairs in the table in a coordinate plane. The x-axis represents cups of water. The y-axis represents cups of lemon juice. One cup of water, one fourth cup of lemon juice. Two cups of water, a half a cup of lemon juice. Three cups of water, three fourths of a cup of lemon juice. Four cups of water, one cup of lemon juice. Five cups of water, one and one fourth cup of lemon juice, and six cups of water, one and one half cups of lemon juice. Now that I plotted the pairs on the table, you can see that it's a proportional relationship because they make a straight line. Number three, decide whether each table could represent a proportional relationship. If the relationship could be proportional, what would be the constant of proportionality? A, the sizes you can print a photo. When the width of the photo in inches goes from four to eight, that's doubling four, so four times two is eight. We'd have to do the same thing to the height of the photo. Six times two, that would equal 12, not 10. So we know that this is not a proportional relationship. This table is not proportional because the ratio of width to height are not always the same. B, the distance from which a lighthouse is visible. Remember, we need to decide whether this table could represent a proportional relationship. One way we can see if they're proportional is by dividing the height of the lighthouse by the distance it can be seen in miles. So 20 divided by 6 is 3 and a third. 45 divided by 9 is 5. 70 divided by 11 is 6.36 and so on. 93 divided by 13 is 7.30 and so on. And 150 divided by 16 is 9.375. So you notice that these are not the same. Since they're not the same, this table could not represent a proportional relationship. Number four, select all of the pieces of information that would tell you X and Y have a proportional relationship. Let Y represent the distance between a rock and a turtle's current position in meters, and X represent the number of minutes the turtle has been moving. A. Y equals 3 times X. B. After 4 minutes, the turtle has walked 12 feet away from the rock. C. The turtle walks for a bit, then stops for a minute before walking again. D. The turtle walks away from the rock at a constant rate. I chose A and D. A and D have proportional relationships. Y equals three times X matches with D. D says that the turtle walks away from the rock at a constant rate. And Y equals three times X represents a constant rate. I almost picked B but then I noticed that B mentioned a distance of 12 feet and not 12 meters. The instructions mention meters, not feet. 